morning today on Nichols retirement empire I'm doing some work in my backyard um, I'm gonna put in a bed for some strawberries I've been wanting to do this for a while and I know it's a little late to be planting but uh, I think this will pay off for next year and uh, while I still had a little bit of cash before my retirement checks actually kick in <laughs> And I'm making less money. Um, I probably need to go ahead and do some things like this while I have the money to do it. Uh, so I did spend a little bit. Uh, the whole project's going to be around $100. I probably could have done it for less than that. Uh, but I don't have the time. Like if I want to get these planted now, I don't have the time to scrounge around trying to find some compost and all the stuff that I'm going to have to do that I can do later on for my garden beds and all that. So. Um, you know, to let you know up front what it costs. I'll show you what I got, and I'm excited about getting this started. Uh, right now, I got some shade. It's supposed to get up to about 90, and uh, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, so here in a little bit. Hopefully, I'll have it uh, done before the sun gets straight overhead and starts burning me up. But uh, anyway, you guys enjoy it. I'm going to do a garden, uh, garden raised bed. Okay, this is the area that I'm dealing with. Um, I've used this before for um, tomatoes, uh, roses, things like that because this location gets a lot of sun. I know it's behind my house but it gets the evening sun and the midday sun, the hot sun is uh, where this gets and I know strawberries like that uh, like that sun so um, I want to dig this up a little bit. Uh, this location over here is where I used to keep my roses. You can see I got some dead ones in there now. Um, and this used to be a fantastic area. It used to really stay wet. And my roses really uh, would thrive right here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Right now I'm not going to do anything with it. Because uh, I want to get this spot right here fixed up. We'll see how this works out. So uh, let me show you what all I got. Okay, this is what I bought yesterday. Uh, I bought this soil. I know that, like I said, if you're following in behind tomatoes and roses... You don't really want to do that with strawberries. I think I'm going to be able to make this deep enough where that really doesn't matter. Um, but anyway, I bought those. Uh, these boards. Now, if you just want to make the bed, these things right here are pretty cool. I'm excited about these. It's the first time I've seen these. Uh, you fit the boards into them on the corners. These were about $2.68 uh, a piece. Boards were about 7 bucks a piece. And so if you just want to do the bed part, you know, then you're looking at, what, 20 um, what, 21, 22 bucks plus 10, about, about 30 something dollars just for the bed part itself if you don't have to get the soil. Like I said, if I wasn't in such a hurry, I could get me some soil and stuff a whole lot cheaper than that and use my compost and all that kind of stuff, but I don't have that available to me right now. And then I got six strawberry plants too. I'll show those to you later, but that's the materials I got yesterday. And this is some good raised bed potting mix. Uh, organic plus soil, look like a quality, quality soil, so I'll be using that. Okay, I'm not building a house, but I do want to get these relatively level. Um, so I'm going to cut my boards out first. And you can see they just fit in these slots, which is that's pretty cool. Um, very convenient. So I'm going to measure this. So, after all the years of living here, I just discovered that those um, stones over there that make this bed did not run parallel to this sidewalk. What about that? In my defense, I didn't make that. It was here when I got here. So, I guess now is as good a time to fix it as any. Okay, so I'm going through, taking my little shovel. And I am uh, leveling this out a little bit, straightening these up a little bit.
little shovels like this are handy. I use them for a lot of stuff. Now, is that perfectly straight? No, but like I said, I'm not building a house. Building a planter. This end down here, it's pretty level. It is level. This end's not level at all. So. Okay, I got it level. Now I'm going to put that topsoil in. Or, uh, yeah, I'm going to put the topsoil in. I'm going to mix it in with that old soil in there a little bit. Okay, I've got that leveled off. Now I'm going to throw some of that uh, potty mix on top of that. I'm going to have, I'm going to end up having some dirt left over. Miscalculated, but you know what? That's fine. Because uh, I'm going to be able to use it. Okay, there it is. Filled. Level. And thanks to my miscalculations, I was wrong a bag of topsoil and a bag of potting mix so you could take off ten dollars of what I said it cost it would cost without the plants and uh, without that potting soil about sixty dollars so let's get the strawberries in there it is uh, gonna be it's gonna drain without any problem Strawberries have shallow roots, so that soil underneath shouldn't be any issue. I think it's going to work out great. You can see it's probably about 11 o'clock. It's going to start getting the midday sun and have sun the rest of the day. That's why I put it on this part of the sidewalk, because I have a fence down here on that end. Okay, these are Bonnie Organic and... What do they call them? Uh, Bonnie Organic. They're just the ever bloom kind, the kind that uh, they should uh, reproduce or produce like three times a year. Uh, I got to make sure I give them some space so that they, you know, you can propagate them or when they have runners, they can, they can, uh, you know, you can get more plants. So I'm going to get these in there and we'll see how they do. I know you don't want to plant them too, uh, too deep. These things are supposed to fall apart, but I like to take them out of them anyway. Work these roots up a little bit. And just get them level to how they were in the pot. I know they don't like to have water on them, like indirect water. I think a lot of people use a drip method. To water their strawberries. Okay guys, there's the finished product. Looks pretty good. Got my mulch in there. It's all nice and level. If I want to add to my bed, I can always use these little blocks here and add to the end of them. That's nice. You can see it's about 12 o'clock or 11.30 somewhere in there. It took me about two hours to do this. 
sun's about to get on them so I know about what time this time of year the sun's gonna start getting on them so I'll get a little bit of touch of water on them and uh, we'll see what happens oh um, and I want to say now that I have this finished a lot of these ideas I got from YouTube so you people on YouTube I've been subscribing to some channels and stuff like that uh, if you want to know how to do something get on YouTube it's so easy you can actually watch somebody do it uh, and you can get a lot of good examples I picked up a lot of the ideas some of the stuff I'm doing in my garden now that I'll show you later uh, off some of the channels that I've recently subscribed to so guys thanks for the stuff that you put on there uh, it's a whole lot better than watching TV you get to watch real people do real things uh, and there's some commercial stuff on there but but I love getting on there and looking at it so support each other on YouTube S subscribe to each other so that took me a couple of hours it didn't take too long um, I got to work in the shade and uh, I don't think I'm going to do anything else today. Like I said, I retired two days ago and uh, now I got the rest of the day I can do work indoors. So it's not even 12 o'clock. I take a shower, eat my lunch, do some uh, editing, stuff like that indoors. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to get a touch of water on these things. Thanks for, watch uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Nichols Retirement Empire. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like if you hadn't done that. I want to try to do some more gardening things. Like I said, I'm going to have more time to do that. So uh, stay tuned to that, and you guys have a good day.